In the body and repair uh, processes, uh, one of our guests uh, has brought to our attention that there are some scams that are plaguing our community. Uh, at first, when I heard this, I, I, I wasn't sure how big of a problem this was. And as soon as I did some investigation on it, I found out just how rampant this uh, problem is in our community. Here to talk about scams that are currently uh, out there in the body and paint repair processes in our community is the uh, manager at uh, Performance Coatings Auto Body, David Biggs. David, welcome uh, to our show today. Hi, good morning, Mitch. How are you? Uh, hey, fantastic. This one really fascinated me because at first you said that you wanted to bring this to the attention of a community, that you were prepared to even take this to the news stations. This was a big problem and, and really little action was being done about it. And you just felt compelled enough to uh, want to, to take the time to protect our community uh, when it came to this, uh, I'll let you t t t t describe what scams are out there because at first I thought, who on earth would ever fall for something like this? And then I found out too many people. And, and just everywhere I went, I heard another story. So what, what's out there? What's happening to our community right now in auto re uh, body repairs? Well, Mitch, I can tell you that we've had a cust couple of customers this, this uh, last couple of months that uh, – They've been getting some really bad work out there on the street with these individuals that are uh, confronting them uh, in parking lots, uh, Home Depot, um, supermarkets on the street, pulling them over, um, telling them that they'll get a, a real good deal to fix their vehicles. But in return, it's actually costing them no more at the end. So you're saying uh, I'm in a parking lot and somebody's approaching these people saying, oh, we, have, we can do this right here in the parking lot. That's correct. And and somebody is really expecting that while they're there, they're going to get a really good deal on body repairs from people that are just walking around a parking lot. I think, first of all, the first clue for this consumer should have been if they don't have a shop and they're not licensed and, and, and there isn't a bonded, insured business, there's potentially, I mean, these are unemployed individuals just out there uh, trying to to do work on the street. There's a problem with that in my head that anybody would ever go for that. But you have a couple of these that have just happened. So let's talk about what what happened to these individuals. Uh, and then I'll share a couple of more that I just heard of yesterday. It's like anytime I ask another one of our businesses about this, they've all got another story about it. You know, first of all, Mitch, um, what happens is the in individual, the consumer that's out there that that's okay in these these repairs, they really have no knowledge of, of, of the process. They have no knowledge of... Uh, of what they're looking for to to tell if it's going to be a bad job or a good job, you know they're 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 trusting in people, which is uh, a tough thing to do right now uh, with these individuals out there. But they know no better the consumer. So what happens is is they go ahead and and uh, they repair the, the the damaged area. Um, they actually make it worse than what it is. Uh, costs the the consumer a lot more at the end. Uh, they're approaching them at at these these uh, various locations. They'll tell them, hey, you know what what we can do is we can fix your bumper. We can fix it where where all we need to do is uh, prime it, take it to a body shop. They can sand it down and paint it, which in return. It's, it's not true. What happens is it gets to our shop. We have to remove everything they've done. They created it to be a lot worse than it is. And sometimes we, we have to replace a panel because of it. Well, and this is what I just heard yesterday is uh, one of our businesses, I, I was just talking, they asked, well, who's on your show this weekend? And I, I said, you know, we're, we're having this uh, episode on the scams plaguing our community in body repairs. And, and they said, oh, well, that happened to one of my family members. And, and they talked about the fact that there was an impact on a fender and there was a, a sizable impression dent you know not like a door ding dent but a dent in a fender and they came out and they took a, a drill and drilled holes in it and then used a a stick a metal stick to pull the metal out and when they were done so here is a a, a female consumer in a parking lot confronted from some by some pretty large guys um and and thinking wow you know i i can have this pulled out you know and and they said to her don't pay us unless you're satisfied. But once they had done this, 
they're standing there looking at her for money now, and she's very uncomfortable by this point because they have drilled holes in her fender, and they, they really haven't you know straightened this dent. They've popped it out a little bit, but now she's got holes in her fender too, which is graphically disturbing. And, and then she didn't follow it up with a body repair, and now those holes are rusting. And, and rust in a car. That's just like cancer in a human body. It, it, it travels and travels and travels. And the only way to get it to stop it is to go far enough around the perimeter of it to take it out. So if you've got four or five holes in your fender and you've got to cut out that much metal and try to replace it and re-weld new metal in there, by the time you're done, it would have been cheaper to buy a whole new fender. That's correct. Had this individual come to you, what, what could have happened? Uh, what, what kind of savings could they have had on, on that kind of repair rather than additional expenses? Huge. So, uh, and, and, you know, all body repairs on top of that are not created equal. This is the kind of information I think that if people say, well, you know, I'm going to go get a couple different estimates. Well, and I got an estimate from this shop and this is what it's going to cost. And this one's a $200 less that that doesn't necessarily mean that the repairs are going to be the same. And this is the level of knowledge base that is really missing in the automotive body shop. So let's talk about uh, your shop specifically for a minute, because it is Without a doubt, I, I've used your business for years and with some very high-end cars to your ordinary, uh, you know, uh, Mazdas and, and Kias, and you do it all from Ferraris to, to Kias if you want to use that, uh, that extreme situation. And your quality of repairs and your cost and your facilities and, and what goes into it. Let's describe uh, Performance Coatings Auto Body and what goes into your quality of repair. You know, our quality of repair is, is uh, we, we take it uh, one step at a time. We don't rush anything. Uh, I often tell the customers when they drop off their car, uh, they ask for a time. I tell them, you know, uh, three to four days. If it takes a day longer, I'll give you a call, let you know, because I don't want to rush it out. Um, we, we, do the per, we, do the, we do the repair correct for a couple of reasons. Number one, of course, to make the person happy, to make it last, to make it right. Um, then again, if we don't, and I think I mentioned this on a show previously, then we're redoing it. And it makes no sense. You, you're upsetting the customer. Um, it, the job's not done right. Reno's a small place. Word of mouth is a huge, huge thing. Well, and one of the things is, I, you know, we're, I just said that they're not all created equal. So you can take two different shops, have the same incident underneath, and, well, one will... Uh, underneath do enough to put a new fender on top and then that's all the consumer sees is a shiny well-painted fender underneath really is the structural integrity of their vehicle if it's impacted again and another shop would really go deeper to make sure that that process underneath that fender was done properly and and this is the type of integrity of businesses the core repair uh, from the bottom up and, and and I've watched the processes at performance coatings auto body and and you just said you, you don't rush anything it starts from the foundation of what you're working with in that repair job I mean so if two estimates are the same thing or even one's a little less there's no doubt in my mind that the consumer should be choosing you for those repairs tell us uh, some of the other one you, you had a couple of recent uh, uh, consumers that were approached in the parking lots tell us about the other one and this was a consumer, I understand, with a number of vehicles oh. that you would have expected. I mean, number of vehicles over many years and and a, a previous customer that knew your quality and then took a chance. This gentleman has, uh, yeah, he's actually a gentleman that should have known better. And um, because he's been around the automotive industry so long. And they actually confronted him. He let them do the work, and they actually ruined his doors where it could have been maybe, I would have said, I would have put a number of maybe 1,200 on it. They damaged the vehicle completely. Uh, the doors doors cost about, I want to say, uh, $700 piece plus labor plus paint. So it took it up another $1,500 than where it, it should have been to, to begin with. And, and you were telling me on one of them where they actually started to go inside the door jam. Is this this repair or is this even no, another this, one yet? This is the one. 
and and they were trying to push dents out like you know there there are some really good quality paintless dent removal companies out there and we've it, we have one on our website if you have just a door ding where they go inside the the panel and they can press out a small ding but they went in to do a major body repair inside the door and drilled the what about a four inch hole in the door panel of his car at least completely ruined the integrity of the door um how, how does that affect the integrity of the door? There's some... Uh, oh, you have an intrusion beam in there, uh, which is put together with a foam adhesive, uh, pushes that apart. Uh, the, the weakness of the metal, the molecules of the metal, when it stretches, it ruins it, makes it weak. So there you have your family in the car. You have a kid next to there, adult, whoever. The door gets hit, and it's not as strong as it used to be, and it... It causes more damage. Well, and you described that they started off by drilling this giant hole inside the door jam, and then they took a tool and pried back and forth and then split that open like a, a, just a sharp, jagged edge of metal inside this door jam. It was gnarly. I just, I can't even, again, I, I, I still, when I heard this, I thought, this can't be this big of a problem. And then I talked again yesterday, I said to another shop, um, who is actually uh, on our show after our break. And, and he was telling me about somebody that instead of using Bondo to smooth out the, 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 the unevenness in the metal when they were done, used plaster of Paris. Oh, yeah. I've seen stucco. I've seen uh, uh, fiberglass where it wasn't mixed all the way, Bondo where it wasn't mixed all the way, halfway falling out, water getting behind the Bondo where it would crack, creating rust damage. All I've seen now also, since I had you bring this subject up, where they put on such thick amount that as soon as the moisture evaporated from these materials, crack lines, and they, they tried to put the paint on before this stuff had a chance to, to dry out and process and be sanded and smoothed. I, I just want our community to know this exists. If somebody approaches you in a parking lot, please say no, thank you, and uh, get into your car and get out of that situation as quickly as you can. Performance coating is auto body, uh, quality repairs, integrity, um, and then the underneath part, the part that you can't see. Uh, endor- we endorse the quality of their, their repair, their integrity, and their, their the quality. Uh, David Biggs, uh, how do they get a hold of you over at Performance Coatings Auto Body? Uh, you can reach me at uh, area code 775-829-8181. Uh, we're located on uh, 100 Gentry Way, Suite D2, uh, right off of Virginia and... Uh, and uh, Gentry Way. And uh, again, another one of our businesses that is growing, you've taken on several other parts of that complex recently. We have. We've expanded and uh, business has been great. Uh, Word of mouth, like I said, we don't uh, really do any type of advertising. Word of mouth is is where it's at. Well, I can't thank you enough for taking on uh, being part of our community and educating our consumers on these potential scams that they could run into. It really shows you, our listeners, uh, what this business is up to. They really want you to know uh, what's out there and what to be aware of uh, and and how to avoid those types of situations. David Biggs, sir, uh, the manager at uh, Performance Coatings Auto Body, thanks again for being here today. Thank you, Mitch. 